hello all welcome to tech type chat myself Vishal Bulbule and in this video we are going to see what is Terraform why we need Terraform and how we can set up Terraform in our Windows or a Linux operating system so first thing is uh, why we need a Terraform so I don't want to go much in complex just in a simple term why we need a Terraform is suppose you want to create a uh, resources in our cloud so it might be AWS cloud or a Google cloud so how you will create a resources in a simple term so you will go to your cloud console so let me go to the cloud console so you will click on create instance and you will select your region zone operating system your boot disk a network all a required parameter you will set and you will create your a virtual machine so this is a simple way to do a creation of resource or to create a virtual machine so suppose there are a 10 15 or 100 of virtual machine you need to create so it will be very difficult for you to manually create all these virtual machine using a console so for that we can use a terraform so instead of creating using the console we can write our terraform code and we can even create hundreds of virtual machine within a small amount of time or with a minimal manual effort so again second use case so suppose you have a dev environment where you created uh, 10 15 of a virtual machine you deployed your application and now you tested your application successfully you want to update or you want to migrate your infrastructure to the production environment or a higher environment so it is very difficult using a cloud console or difficult using manual infrastructure creation to create your resources in a higher environment or a migrate infrastructure so using the terraform you can reuse your code from one environment to another environment just by changing a different variables like a project name or environment name so this is all a use cases of terraform and it is always recommended for production environment or in organization to use terraform and there would not be any resource creation using a manual steps or using the cloud console now first thing is infrastructure as a code so infrastructure as code is nothing but instead of creating resources from the console you will create a configuration file for your infrastructure creation and execute that configuration file using the different infrastructure as a code tool so in market there are different infrastructure as a code tool so like ansible terraform chef puppet so you can use any of these but nowadays a very popular one for cloud or hybrid infrastructure creation is a terraform so we'll see terraform in this uh, video so just basic stuff about terraform so terraform is created by hashicorp organization and it is for both cloud as well as on-prem you can create infrastructure for multiple cloud providers like you can create for aws or google cloud or azure cloud using the different provider so provider is nothing but so suppose you want to create uh, resources on AWS cloud you will use AWS provider if you want to create resources on Google cloud you will use a Google cloud so it's just like a plugin so you have to use for creating resources on that particular platform so suppose if you are creating infrastructure on your Google cloud you will use a terraform provider we'll see how we can use a provider and how we can declare a provider in detail in our next few videos so this is just a basic terminology about the provider so whenever you want to create resources on any of the cloud or a platform you need to use that provider and now we'll see what are the different providers so there are different lot of providers like aws azure cloud platform alibaba cloud kubernetes oracle so you can create a lot of different kind of infrastructure using a terraform even you can create your github repository using a github provider using a terraform okay so now we'll come to the point how we can set up a terraform on a windows as well as linux so to set up terraform there are very simple and basic steps so we just need to download a binary file so you just copy this url or you can directly type in google install okay so i just went to this official site of a hashicorp that is a terraform and i could see there are different operating system options are available so terraform is supported by this different operating system like mac os windows linux free bsd open bsd solaris so we'll see in this video for windows and linux so we'll see for windows okay before starting i will check if i have terraform installed in my 
system so i'll open a cmd and just i'll type command terraform so it will say terraform is not recognized or i'll type terraform hyphen hyphen version so it's a terraform is not recognized okay so that means terraform is not set up or installed in my system so what i will do i will go to windows and i'll just choose amd64 okay i'll download this file and once downloaded i'll extract that file okay so let me click on download again so it's taking a bit time it's because of my network connectivity okay and you could see the file started downloading so it will take uh, around a minute or a few seconds to download the file depending on your uh, network speed okay and file is downloaded here let me click on this so it will open this zip bundle okay and it click on this and i'll extract to and i'll extract this on my uh, desktop i'll just copy this part i'll just extract it to my uh, desktop click on okay okay so let me go back to my desktop okay and here you could see a file terraform.exe is here now let me open a cmd again so just we need to extract it okay and cmd is open now let me go to desktop okay and now i can see terraform hyphen hyphen version okay now it will show me a terraform version 1.3.6 but suppose instead of that desktop i'll just type terraform hyphen hyphen version from any other location it will still not recognize the terraform is installed for that what we need to do we need to add that path in our environment variable so how we can add that path so just go to your environment variable here go in path edit and you can click on new and you simply add path here so wherever you have that dot terraform.exe file you can add that path okay okay now it still there are chances it won't show here because you have to open a new cmd session so we we'll open new cmd session and just write terraform version okay now terraform you can use terraform from any of the location in your system so that is it for windows we can set up terraform on windows with very simple step now we'll see for linux how we can uh, set up a terraform in linux so i have created one uh, linux instance here i'll just log in into it and we'll try to install the terraform with the steps provided in hashicorp document just logging into the instance okay our vm is open now i'll just log in using sudo first i'll type sudo i'll just update the packages first and then we'll go to documentation and we'll try to run this command one by one so first i'll try to run this command Okay, so it is uh, showing wget is not found. So first we'll install wget.
okay then i will install the first command given in the document a first command is executed then we'll execute a second one okay and then i'll try to run a third okay so you could see unpacking terraform preparing to unpack setting up terraform so now we'll check the version okay it's installed we'll see terraform yeah and you can execute the command so this is very simple for installing terraform in windows as well as linux so for working with terraform you can use any of the id for your code editing purpose or for your terraform code so we'll see in next video so thank you for watching this video